Hi ladies and gents, right, here's a little project that I did, uh, this is just a prototype, as you know I do a lot of prototypes before I actually decide on what I'm doing, because I might want to change something, and it's really handy to do something like this. So I've made this little book, um, it has a magnet under here, and it hold, folds out like that. Now, I've used scraps of paper, because I don't want to use, um, you know, other things. Uh, that I might need for this when I do the proper project. Um, so I'm going to tell you what I did. Now, you could use it, you could do it with double-sided paper, but, or card should I say, I wanted it quite sturdy, um, and therefore I had to put it on card. So the paper, or this paper, is actually put onto card. And I've got a pack here that's uh, the ATC cards. Like that. I mean, anybody can cut them. You know, you're just doing the whatever size you want, to be honest. Um, and what I did, I'll just show you, because I'm not going to make it. I'm going to show you. Um, I took three pieces of card, like that. Hope you can see that. I can't get the camera any closer because the lens is buggered. Uh, but you need three pieces of card like that. Then I used this tape. Um, just that tape. Um, you could use anything. Uh, not Well, you could use sellotape, but I wouldn't because you need it to bend. You need it to be flexible. I then taped the fronts, leaving a gap between like that, so you had that flexibility. I then turned them over and did exactly the same on them and trimmed them all off so they were nice and neat. Okay? And then what I did, I cut the papers for the size of the card slightly smaller and sometimes let me just get a piece of paper sometimes it's easy um, I mean you can measure it all out and do all of that but I generally I will take a piece of paper take the piece of card and because the card I want bigger than the actual paper I'm covering it with I generally just do that so you've got like a, a couple of millimeters around the edge there and there and then I cut that and then when you've cut that and then fit it onto the project it snugly fits like that with a tiny edge so that's great so that's how I did the papers and what I did I put a different paper on well apart from them two because I wanted to use scrap paper I, I put a, di a paper on each one front and back um, because I've put in a little magnet you need to make sure that the very last one and the first one have the magnets okay so um pop your magnet in before you put your last piece of paper on and then you can pop your magnet in when you put in this sheet of paper in and you have to make sure that they actually do meet like that okay and then all i did i bought some of this which is um tape uh, material it is made from fabric and it's got the um Eiffel Tower on, messages, advertisements, tickets, um, and you get it from eBay, okay? And I don't know, let me just see. No, it's not that one. Oh, where's my paper? See, they send them with no, nothing in them, I can't stand it. I will go on eBay and I will find it out. Email me. If you want to know where I bought this tape from, email me because it will be on eBay. And I will uh, give you the information for that, okay? But uh, it's really very, very good, very strong. And the pictures are, are really nice. Um, and will look great on anything. Um, so what I did, I decided then... Let me just fold it up again. I decided then, I put a little bit... Using some cornered, material, cornered paper, just cut a corner off... Um, and put it like that as a tag, so I can fit a tag in there, so a little journaling mat there. I then used a strip of the material here, but I mean, I was just practicing. I'm just putting bits here, there, and everywhere, um, because I, once I once I see it done, then I know what I want to change and how I want it to look. Um, a little tab there where I can write something on. When you open up the book, like that, we've got a piece of card there with a journaling mat on there some cornered um sorry some cornered push that right in that's it 
uh, put some across the corner. This is the keyboard one with the music sheet as a journaling tab. Stuck a little bit of that um, Eiffel Tower thing there. Um, and on this one, they're just little tabs for notes. And on this one, it says tasks, memories, remember and today. Okay. Uh, and all I did was add a little bit of um, paper there and shoved them in like that. Just tuck them in. Another little piece of the tab there, uh, this binding, and uh, let me just sit them in right. So it's just like a little miniature notebook. On there I can put a picture, and on the back I can do the same, okay? So it's just a way of using up your spare little bits. These are the miniature bits in these papers that you get. And I thought, well, yeah, make a little book. It'll go in a project. So now I've done it. That's that's my example that I will now keep. And then in future when I want to do one, I know exactly what I've done. I know how it will look. And I know if I want to change anything. And it's a really good idea is to make yourself templates and examples. I don't keep my own work. But if I ever want to go back and make something again, I've got something like that. So I always do my, you know, little things like that. And if it's a project like I did last night um, regarding uh, the little box I changed, I take a picture because I don't do another box. I just take a picture. And um, I'm not sure how many of you uh, do this. Um, but these are these little journal books that I have. And, uh, you know, just keep pictures in them. If I find a picture that I want to do of, of something I want to, you know, I do that. So I have a book with things in I like that I might design um, or redesign and do myself. Lots of things like that. Remember the kids did these. And then I have another book, if I can find it, but it's under my computer desk. Where's my book? Oh, the kids. Oh, no, I think I've got it. It's all right, because I have all sorts under my desk. I really shouldn't, but I, under my computer, but here we go. Here's the other one. So I have one, um, like I say, this one is of things I want to do or inspire me to make other things. And this one is what I've done. I write down all sorts of things when I've started it, all the things I've made. They're not very good pictures, but I know exactly what I did when I did them. Um... All the butterflies I've designed, like that. I mean, these were stunning. And I uh, sold to Sybil and Gloria in the States. But, you know, um, so I, I have got to update all of this because I've got heaps and heaps and heaps of pictures. So I need to get on and get that done. Um, hopefully I can get some done in the six weeks holidays. But like I say, it's great to keep a record of what you do. Um, and that way... You know, you've got it at hand. I don't have to keep the videos or anything like that. I can delete them, I can, you know, and anything like that. And I've got a, a, a proper record of them. So that's what I've uh, done. You know, just try a little booklet out. We, we use... That'll go in a mini somewhere. That will go in uh, another... You know, into a journal somewhere. Um, and it's just great the nice little booklets and give you a lot of thing, a lot of scope for adding to a book or a book. I mean, that will fit in one of the Michael's box. And wouldn't that be great? Just a little tiny book like that with little things in that can be recorded um, and then pop that into a Michael's box. So that's a really good idea. Um, like I say, if you want to know where I got this from, please let me know. Just email me. I'm not, um, I'm not going to be advertising where I get things from in future. Um, if you want to know, you'll have to email me. Um, sorry, but uh, that's the way it's going to be from now on. And um, it's just the way I want to be. <laughs> so uh, I don't mind giving the information out to, you know, certain people. But if you want to know, let me know. OK. Um, and that's it for now, I think. Oh, I don't know whether I showed you this one. I don't know if I did show you this one. This was another canvas that I did. Um, well, remember when I did the other one, uh, the dark one? Um, well, I decided to do another one using these that I'd cut out, and these were really vintage laces. So um, I made these, made a pocket in the front there, put some little cards in. I mean, what I can do now. 
even do something like that and pop it in. It just sits in there like that. Whatever you want to do. But I put the cards in. Um, again, using the fabrics, using the lace, the vintage lace to make a fan. Using the same flowers here and here. Uh, adding little tiny loopy flowers from this onto the actual flower of the lace. Making a charm and a handmade stick pin. Um, and I do like things like that. I think they look really nice. Vintagey. <laughs> but like I say, um, you know, there's, there's all sorts of things. I absolutely loved this one I did the other day. I do love that one. And I've, I've shortened the chain a little bit as well. Um, yeah, I like that a lot, actually. I'm sure I've got the plastic on that still. It feels like it. <laughs> Probably. And I did put the heart on, sorry. Mm. <laughs> but uh, I just I just like the way it turned out. I thought it turned out pretty neat. Anyway, so like I say, just practice. Keep yourself a little box and everything you make, pop it in. Um, because you can always make a scaled down version of what you actually want to do. There's lots and lots of things you can do and have a small... I mean, you can make this into a bigger book. If you want, just make it into a, a book on its own and not to go on anything else. But I just thought I'll show you that. They're easy to do. Play around, see what you can come up with. And, um, you know, don't waste your paper by using your papers for each page. Just use a card. Cut three pieces the same. You could have had that as a con concertina and had several. Lots and lots of different things you can do. That's it for now. Thanks for watching and I'll speak to you soon. Take care.